Welcome everybody, Radio 23 here. Time for another playbook episode. Um, today we're gonna to be adding the rogue right open uh, to the playbook. So let's check it out. So we got Dead Sunday. This is actually um, a shared account and uh, this one, this particular attack was by me. Um, so what we're gonna be focusing on is this right hand side here. So let's get into it. So first thing you wanna do is use a barrage I normally center a barrage right in between these two lasers um, biased slightly towards the power cells and then I will follow up with a couple of artilleries um, just to clear those boom mines. Then I like to drop some Zookas on the left hand side and the reason I do this is just because you can collect some extra GBE. Uh, no one's going to be going left, no one's going to be after this GBE so you're not stealing it from anybody else um, in subsequent attacks. And all you have to do is make sure that you note um, the ranges. So you see the Zookas sort of got quite close to this rocket launcher range right here. And that's when I flared across. You also want to um, flag those boats left enough so that when you do flare across, you're going to have enough room for all these um, boats of Zookas. So obviously decided um, that I didn't want to do all the boats nice and neatly. <laughs> But there is enough room for all eight boats there before I wanted to flare up because you kind of want quite a vertical path um, towards um, the laser area. Then we obviously want to be smoking before we get into range of anything. You definitely need to scout this out. There might be a rocket launcher um, where there's flamethrowers and it might extend down further. Uh, make sure you scout that out nicely. And then you want to be smoking a little bit tighter around the power cells just because of the zigzagging they're going to do um, and then we want to double smoke and we're flaring right between the two middle lasers and the power cells so right here Zuka's is going to spread back a little bit that's okay so right here we as you can see we've got two shocks and it's going to cover the whole row of lasers um, the rocket launcher and the flamethrowers. It can extend back further to the machine guns um, if you need to, if they are rocket launchers or lasers or whatever. Um, so you can stretch it if you like. I knew that I didn't have to, so I kind of biased them a little bit further down because if you miss a laser, it's, it'll look how close your Zookas are. If this laser on the right fired, it will just wax like at least half of your troops. Something to consider when you are doing this part of the attack is that there can be um, a rocket launcher or a shock launcher or a shock blaster around in here somewhere. Everything here is out of range, but sometimes there is something near, so keep your eyes open for that. And this rocket launcher was out of range for me. Um, these are all boom cannons, so I'm not too worried about them. And as soon as the smoke ex um, expires, I actually throw a critters down low. And then what you want to do is make sure that you get these reshocks um, almost early, but just on time um, before the previous shock expires. I've been caught out by this before. A laser's just popped me off because I've decided to push it a little bit too much. See, a flamethrower got me just then. Um, another key, if you want to be super efficient, um, you can flare the outside laser, destroy that, flare the other outside laser, and then you can shock all of these um, nine defenses or however many is in that kind of group all in one shock. I usually play it safe and just do two shocks twice, but you can save yourself that fourth shock um, if you do it in that order. I don't like particularly doing it because I like my Zooka staying quite grouped because if you flare over to the right one, they're going to spread um, sort of in towards the lasers, uh, which I don't really like. But it is a good option if you've got the skill to pull it off and obviously the critters are just going to help um, with the one shot um, defenses down low. I didn't need to take out those flamethrowers um, so I flared down and what I like to do is I flared down um, towards the beach so that I'm not flaring directly towards the boom cannon getting in range of all of them. Um, sort of sorting out my angle down a bit and then I can have my critters in front of all of my zookas. All right, let's speed it up. So I've got critters just right into the middle. Um, I've flared on to 
one of the boom cannons and now I'm unloading but you obviously don't want to be doing that when you're throwing multiple shocks and all of those sorts of things you want to do it when you're not as busy you're just throwing critters and then them um, letting the zookas take out the boom cannons and you're just going to be hammering that um, that rocket launcher the reason I'm flaring over here and I'm not worried about I don't want to use any barrage or artillery on mines because I, my zookas don't need, really need to be alive right now they've done their job um, they've, now I'm just letting them do a whole bunch of mine clearing um, you can try and clear these boom mi um, shock mines as well I think we're just collecting GBE um, clearing mines for the next person because speed is going to be the key in the next couple of attacks so we need to be um, need to remember that and I do believe we take out this rocket launcher at some stage I do flare way up into the corner um, because I want to take out all those mines so I'm not worried about my Zookas dying I know it looks like I'm a bit of a noob flaring into mines that's all good I'm only thinking about the next attacker so we're just going to take out a few more few um, power cells and then we're going to finish them off so that's always defenses down low the reason we want to do that is because when the next um, attacker comes in these are normally cannons so we had to use an extra attack to get rid of all those three um, but the next attacker will go right up into this corner clear a whole bunch of defenses including this rocket launcher down low and he's not going to have to go to the other side of the core to go and grab this rocket launcher so there we go that's the rogue right open um, can be a little bit technical if you do get a laser pop you off halfway through it can just completely ruin the attack and adds another attack in um, but it's very very possible to take out those lasers the rocket launchers move down boom cannons sweep up through the shields clear all the mines and bat out that rocket launcher it's a lot of stuff to do but it's a great attack give us a comment down below if you take out um rogue any differently from what you're seeing here it's normally a pretty standard three to four attacks um, to take it out on the right side and give us a thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you didn't and subscribe for more boom beach